Hello and welcome to this new video in which we're going to look at how to solve a knight sudoku or anti-knight sudoku. Um, it can be seen under both names. Um, so the main rule is reassuringly familiar from standard sudoku. You must place the numbers 1 to 9 in each row, in each column and in each box. But there's one additional rule which will be familiar to anyone who plays chess and it's the fact that a number cannot occur within a knight's move of itself. Um, so we've illustrated that here. So if you look at this square with the seven, a seven could not appear in any of the squares that we have shaded in pink. So unlike standard Sudoku, where it'd be perfectly legal for any of those squares to be a seven, um, in anti-knight Sudoku, none of those squares can be a seven because there are knights move away in chess. And a knight moves two squares vertically and then one horizontally or one vertically and then two horizontally. So this can affect a maximum of up to eight squares. Okay, that's the rules of uh, Knight Sudoku. Now we will have a look at um, how that rule can impact and help us solve the puzzle. Okay, so this time we're looking at the start position of the grid and we're just going to look at a couple of ways that this new anti-knight rule can instantly help us make progress with the puzzle. So let's look at column five. And let's ask ourselves where the one can go. Well, clearly it can't go there or there due to the one in the box, and it can't go here due to the one in the row. So in a normal Sudoku, that now narrows it down to one of these four squares. However, this is not a normal Sudoku, it's an anti-knight Sudoku. And that means we can use this one to help us narrow down the options further, because this square and this square are both a knight's move away and therefore in this version of the puzzle they cannot contain the one and therefore we can pencil mark the one there or there. Now let's have a look at the third row and let's ask ourselves where the eight can go. So again just using Sansa Sudoku it can't go here or here because there's an eight in the box and it can't go here or here because there's an 8 in this box. So now in a standard Sudoku we've instantly narrowed down the 8 to here or here. But again this isn't standard Sudoku, it's an anti-knight Sudoku. So we can use that rule to help us place the 8. So this square here is a knight's move away from this 8 and therefore that cannot be the 8 and we can place R8 here. So you can see that even from the very start of a puzzle, the anti-knight rule is really useful in helping you whittle down the options. You just have to remember to use it. Um, and that's really the key to solving it. It will solve in many ways like a normal Sudoku, but you do have to remember to uh, use the anti-knight rule um, whenever you can. And if you get stuck and can't see how to make progress, it's probably somewhere you're missing an instance of that rule that you can use. Okay, so that's how to solve anti-knight Sudoku puzzles. We hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please do um, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you soon. Bye.